know what is the ratio of male to female death casualties, American casualties in Vietnam War? 18,000 is to one. One? Yeah, one woman in somewhere in the office, you know, so died, you know, in some kind of thing. But so it's not surprising, like don't say like suddenly what happened in Mahabharat War, you know, that's happening in the modern modern times, Vietnam War, not that long ago. So 18 Aukshani, if you translate that into numbers, exclusive male, the number comes to 4 million or 40 lakhs in Indian units, right? 4 million men came together in Northern India, fought for 18 days. How many of you have played a paintball? Paintball? Paintball. Yeah. yeah. No? That's a digression, sorry, forget it, okay? It's a lot of fun, but it can be dangerous. Just forget it. Okay. All right. So, so for four million people, four million men suddenly died in eighteen days. That, that's what happened during the Mahabharat War. Okay. Uh, in in those in those eighteen days. Now, guys, if you want to know the genetics, you the kids. I know it's late, but focus on me, okay? Otherwise, there will be digression. Now, what happens in genetics? So now, if you want to see the effect of that, suddenly in eighteen days, four million men somewhere in India, okay, in different places, they have come from, I'm going to tell you in a minute, they have come from India and around India. Now when I say around India, actually do you know how far back you have to go? How far different direction you have to go? In the best direction you have to go all the way to Turkey, Syria. Surprise, surprise. Iraq, Iran, they all have fought. Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, you know, that is the Kuru, Uttara Kuru, Uttara Madra. You go in the east direction, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, then you could go down to Sri Lanka, possibly some parts of Africa. Anyway, so that's kind of the area, India and Guam side. Uh, four million people died in 18 days, four million men. Now, numbers guys, okay, stay with me. Mm -hmm. Now we need to, before to find out the effect, four million doesn't sound like a big thing. What is the population of Atlanta? More than four million right now. So this is what's happening. Like no, 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 no talking, please, okay? So, so it's like four million, no, not a big deal. But for that to understand, we have to go back to how many years ago? 7,000 7, years ago, 6 millennium BC. And if you do the, if you look at the estimates, and you know, everyone has a smartphone afterwards, you can say, is this weather telling right thing? You can go and Google it right now. If you want to do the estimate of the world population in 6 millennium BC, it ranges from 5 to 20 million. The world population, right? Okay, right or wrong, we don't know. Like to your question, what the best guess, we are going to go with that. But see how nicely it matches. So we think, yeah, that's reasonable. Now, just for simplicity calculation, I'm going to take a 20 million number. Stay with me. So total world population in 6 millennium is 20 million. Let's say out of that, half of it, 10 million, is for uh, the area from which people came and fought in the Mahabharat War. You with me? Okay, and, and a tropical area is where most of the population is, even today. Okay. Right. Now the 10 million, just a crude approximation, how many men, how many women? Yes, 5 million, 5 million. Right. Now just stay with me. So now out of that 5 million people from, 5 million men from that area, which was affected by Mahabharat war, out of that 5 million men, 4 million men were gone in 18 days. So how many men we are left with in that area? 1 million. And how many women now? 5 million, just that area. So what is the ratio of a female diversity? Now, of course, the population, but also the gene diversity. Five is to one. Everyone with me? Yes. Very good. Just remember that number. This was 7,000 years ago. Now I'm going to fast forward to 2015, 2015. Monica Carmin is the first author for this genetics paper. And there are, if you have read genetics paper, there are usually like a 30, 40 authors. You know, I don't know exactly what they do. Most of them work in the lab. Uh, but that paper is telling, they are not looking at Mahabharata. They have no clue about the Mahabharata. Mahabharata is not the point of discussion. They are just taking all the available uh, genetics data around the world and trying to understand what might have happened. What they found is that sometime, somewhere, suddenly something happened and there was a huge change in the female diversity ratio, female to male diversity ratio. Do you know how much? 16, 16 is to one. So the female diversity at 16, male diversity down to one. This is an absolute number. If you take a, a relative ratio, uh, any engineers like
like a turbine signal to noise ratio. Yeah. Understand the concept signal to noise, right? So if you take a signal to noise, if you take absolute 16 is to 1, mm -hmm. signal to noise, if you take the average baseline kind of a noise is 3 or 4, and the total number is 16. So if you take signal to noise ratio, it is 16 is to 3, which is what? 5 is to 1, the, the ratio that we just dropped. 5 women, 1 male. So this Monica Carmen paper says, sometimes somewhere in the past, in the world, there was a bottleneck. That is the word used, bottleneck in the male diversity. The ratio suddenly, female diversity ratio <coughs> peaked, ratio meaning female to male, to 16 is to 1 absolute or 5 is to 1. Now the two questions you want to know. What are the other two questions? So this happened, yes? Oh, I'm sure about that. No, 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 then, no, no. So the question you want to ask is where and when, yeah? Where and when. What if I tell you the where, the answer is the epicenter, just like the earthquake happens and we say where was the where was the epicenter? And we say, what was the intensity of that earthquake? Richter scale, right? Same question. I already gave you the intensity. Intensity is 16 is to 1 or 5.